Good morning. Buenos dias. This is uh, what I ended up sleeping in last night. Three bed cabana, as they call it. Um, could probably fit, there's probably seven people in here if you really wanted to. Could get stuffy, but uh, yeah. It was this or, or a open air hammock. Um, I chose this because, to be honest, it was it was either a couple hours of sleep or no sleep, and I chose a couple hours. <laughs> so uh, yeah, about to hit the road now. Um, hey, there he is. Como aparece tu en Instagram? Instagram? Instagram. Okay, yeah. This is the uh, this is the owner here of the place. Luis Osorio. Luis sí. Osorio. Eco camping, Luis. Eco camping. So yeah, as you guys can see, this is pretty cool. He's got all these little cabanas here. It's a cool little space. Hey man, yeah. thanks a lot. Hey. I appreciate oh, it. Yeah. You saved me last night. I was Dale. stranded. Un placer. <laughs> okay. okay. Buenos dias. They have showers. They have running water, bathroom. They have electricity. Um, I think it's. I think I saw a solar panel back there. So green, uh, green energy. Recycling. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty good little place. Uh, they run a they run a good little campground here. So um, Louise told me about a couple places. Um, there's a there's a secret beach near Cabo San Juan, which is that way. It's about 40 minute hike probably. Um, he said there's a secret beach there. Uh, it's called Puerto. And uh, if I ask people, like they might know about it, but uh, otherwise it's pretty hidden. So uh, we're gonna try to go there today. Um, check it out, maybe go for a swim. Um, and then we need to get a coconut. That's one of the goals today is to harvest our own coconut from one of the trees. And I don't know how we're gonna open it, but we're gonna have to do it probably caveman style, just smash it open on a rock or something. But uh, yeah, I'm drinking fresh coconut juice today. As you guys can kind of see, it's a bit of a bit of an overcast today, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, if it's a little rainy here and there, it won't be as nice, obviously, but there'll be less people here and uh, it'll be less hot, hopefully. So, yeah, maybe a little more humid though, and that might be a problem. Uh, picking up coconuts. Hola, senor. Buen dia. Helmet. Coconut? Coconut. Ah, danger. Tres. Tres? Hit, you got hit three times by a coconut? Wow, and you had a helmet on. That's crazy. That guy's been hit three times on the head with a coconut. Alright, so the secret beach called Puerto is, um, is near Cabo San Juan, and that's where we're heading now. Heading to Cabo San Juan. Um, and hopefully we can uh, we can find this beach. Um, there isn't norm like the normal beach of Cabo San Juan is beautiful enough as it is, but this one he said there's like there's nobody there. It's pretty it's pretty secluded. So I'm gonna try to find it. Oh. Not a bad way to start the morning, huh? Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, you know what? I think it's coconut time. I am thirsty already. I see some low-hanging fruit here, as they call it. And I think we can maybe grab one of these. Grab one of these coconuts. Let's hope it's not too wet in here. It's not a swamp, I'm hoping. I don't think it is. Look at this, we got something to throw at here. Okay, 
Now, any one of these could fall on my head and kill me right now. So I need to be careful here. Because that's just Murphy's Law, right? So here we go. I think this is our best bet right here. It's our lowest hanging coconut. I'm going to set up the camera here. And I'm going to try to get one of these coconuts down. Try this again. Okay, got a hit. Some water in this one, but looks kind of old. Oh, that was a direct hit. You might have to just try the age old method of. Climbing. I might die, so that's why we have insurance. These bugs are fucking insane. Last time I did this, I was in Thailand and I was really drunk. And I slid down the tree shirtless and ripped my skin off. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think it's better to do this barefoot even, to be honest. Oh yeah, the bugs are taking full advantage of this. They love it. Ah, okay. That one in my eye. Okay, I think we need to do this. Oh, oh. These bugs are endless. It's like fighting a horde that never ends. Okay. Let's do this. Man, this isn't even... Harder than it looks. Nope. I don't think that's happening. We need a coconut tree that's on an angle. This one's just too. Maybe I need a rope. Okay. Guys, when I say that the bugs are relentless, they are absolutely relentless. Look at them. Holy crap. It's like a never ending horde. No point of even trying to fight them because they just, new ones just come. Holy crap, look at them all. I gotta get out of here, holy shit. Getting eaten alive, literally. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're gonna try to we're gonna try the throw method again. Oh, that was a direct hit. If that didn't knock it down, then I don't know what will. All right, we got some ammo. Bugs are distracting me every time I go to throw it, one lands on my head. Okay. Last one and then we'll move on to a different tree. Okay. Mission failed for now. We'll come back to it. We'll try a different tree later. 
a lot of coconuts here. We can uh, we can try this later. We can get back at it. A little uh, PSA here. Chuck Taylors. Not the best walking shoe or running shoe. In fact, they're horrible running shoes, in my opinion. Um, but they have good grip. They do have good grip. It's up here. Ah, there's another beach. So let's say no swimming or swimming. No swimming. Ah, you can't swim right here. I guess it's dangerous. But over here you can. Now this is just what I thought I would see. Beware alligators inhabit this area. Wow, so in these lagoons, there are actually alligators. Uh, maybe we can see one. All right guys, gotten ourselves a coconut. No, we didn't work for it, we found it on the ground. But we're gonna try and uh, open it anyways, just for fun. And continue along the trail here. So this is uncharted territory for me. I haven't been this way yet. Um, I got to that beach back there uh, yesterday, like in the evening, and they didn't have any room for, uh, any, they, didn't have any, they didn't have any tents or any uh, hammocks available. So we were stranded, we were stranded in the jungle last night. So yeah, we're gonna find a nice beach to open this up. I don't know if you can hear this. Hmm, it actually sounds like, it might actually be solid inside. I, I hear a little bit of liquid, but not a lot. Whoa, there's a crab. That is a coconut crab, guys. Oh, no, it's a blue crab. Did you guys see that? Wow, I thought it was a coconut crab because coconut crabs, um. They're big and scary looking, and they also can be like blue or red. Um, but that was just a blue crab. That was really cool though. Never seen a blue crab yet. Okay, here's another beach, guys. I only see one person. Can't swim here. Hey, how you doing? One hundred people have drowned here. Do not become part of the statistics. That's kind of scary. Um, I don't think I will swim here. Uh, if it says 100 people have drowned here, then 100 people have drowned here. I don't think I want to uh, test that theory. Oh God. Let's see here. Hundred people. I gotta take the shoes off guys. I can't do this anymore. This is a long ass beach and I'm wearing shoes. Woohoo! Holy sh! Wow, that was a big one. Okay. Water's really warm. Really, really warm. Which is kind of nuts. I don't know if there's another trail up here. I hope so, because if not, this just ends and I have to go back, which I don't want to. Oh, the water feels nice. It feels really nice on the uh, small amount of bites I have on my ankles. All right, we got a coconut here. I think we try to break this bad boy open. I 
they're harder than they look. I don't think that's gonna work. Damn, these things are hard. Well, at least I have a handle now. You know what I should do? I should hollow out the inside here. New organic, vegan, fashionable bags. Kanye. Kanye's new line right here. I'm gonna call it the Coke and Easy. Tripping or is this thing leaking? Nope, that's just sand. Ugh. Oh, I think I got through. I feel like an absolute caveman right now. Booga booga, coconut. Ah, Jesus, man. This better be worth it. There better be something good in here. Sometimes the coconut inside is solid and you can actually eat it like a, like a chunk. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be really delicious, but uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't had that yet. I haven't tried it, so. go in barefoot so there's a German guy and uh, he told me that this is a way to a more secluded beach where there's not a lot of people so we're going barefoot for now dry off the feet get rid of some of the sand once again hobbiting our way along being careful not to step on these guys Cause look at those chompers, you guys see those? One bite from those, eh? Ooh. So the German guy I was just talking to, he, uh, he made some sense. He said, if you walk this way, it's about a three hour hike to the other side of the park. Um, I'm already about a three hour or four hour hike in. So it's another three hours to get to the other side. And he said that you can, you can actually get a motorcycle back to the other side where your bike, where your car or your bike is. So, so if you don't want to like walk back the same way you came, you know what I mean? You're basically seeing the same thing you already saw. So. Kind of made sense. I was like, yeah, it's not a bad idea for 10,000 uh, Colombian pesos. It's not a bad price. Wow. Every beach is just stunning. Every single one. Oh man, the sand. The sand is so soft. Not one person here. Not a single person here. Isn't that crazy? I'm the only one on this beach. I have never been to a beach this beautiful in my life and I've been the only one on the entire beach. Like this is a real treat. You don't get this too often. Look at that wave, that big ass wave coming in, holy sh Here it comes. Okay, what's your name? Giorgio? Giorgio? Cool. This dog followed us all the way from 
fly over the fly Really? Lava. Yeah. Like oh, that's, that's not your dog? No. No, he slept under our hammocks last night. Wow. And then he came like this. Wow, that's amazing. I don't it's, know. He's used to doing the track run. I, I noticed that uh, dogs, they like stray dogs, they do that and everywhere I've traveled, they've just, I've always had a dog follow me at some point. Thailand even, and here too. But it's good because we almost took a wrong turn at yeah. one point on the path and he went the other way. Really? He was, him. He, was, he was obviously right. Yeah. He the path all the time. Yeah, he knows these paths better than us probably, right? Definitely. Does he have a name? I'm going to just call him Super Pero. Oh, <laughs> Super Pero, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. He doesn't respond to any conventional calls. Yeah. Like, no, you know, no. he, like clap or anything. He's, just, he's like, know. nah, I'm, I'm a free dog. He is a totally free dog. That's crazy. Where in Toronto are you from? Right downtown. Oh, nice. That's awesome, man. You ever go to Fo Hong? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Fo Hong. Yeah. Oh, good, good. I'm almost done. I'm, uh, I'm going to Medellin uh, to watch a football game. I'm going back. National? Yeah, because I missed it. I missed the game, so. Um, what about you guys? We just did Bogota, Medellin. Oh, nice. Yo, how do you like Medellin? Do you like it? It's fun. Right? I think yeah. it's a good city. Yeah, I like it. Really like, I would buy a house there one day, maybe even. Do you guys hear the Jaguars up there? Holy sh! Was it was close it? to the path? No. You can hear Jaguars yeah. out there? Yeah. Yeah. Was it? That's, what, that's what that... Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But the dog was not, the dog was not afraid, so I was not yeah. afraid. Maybe that's a monkey sound, but that's the sound when they sell the little toys that make a Jaguar noise. Yeah. That's the noise it makes. I love the crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Close one. Uh, yeah, I was uh, trying to rip open this coconut. Yeah, you need a proper... Kind of like a big rock. Yeah. So a mission of mine is to like get one down from a tree and actually like open it up open and up. yeah. It's delicious. Hello doggy. Hi. I uh, hear you're a uh, super perro. You've been leading people down the right path, haven't you? Oh, you deserve some treats, don't you? Yeah. Where's your owner, huh? You don't have an owner, do you? You're a free dog. Yes, you are. Must be hot with this coat. It's like a husky uh, mix or something. Looks like. Oh, uh, yes, aren't you? Oh, 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 thank you. I've got some, uh, I've got some jalapeno pepperettes, but I don't know if it would be good for him. <laughs> That's on it. Yeah. Have a great rest of the trip, man. Yeah, you too, man. See you guys around, eh? Stay safe. Enjoy Medellin. Yeah, thanks, dude. Alright, so I guess that's a path that way. So, uh, let's keep going down the beach and see what else we can find down the beach. No swimming. Yeah, so I've almost reached the end of the beach here. And uh, I thought there might be a path here, but it looks like there's uh, some kind of lagoon. And uh, I don't think I'll be treading through any lagoons since there's alligators here. Confirmed alligators here. see any here but I'm not gonna find out <laughs> so let's see what's in this corner over here Some garbage little crab um, looks like there might be a trail right here but uh, that could be a trail. 
Maybe we'll check it out after. I'm actually ripping it open here. As you can see, I'm making more progress than using tools. So there you have it. Using tools is not as good as brute strength. I think that's the, the lesson here, right? Ah. I feel like there's nothing in here. I'm gonna open this up and it's gonna be empty. Ugh. Okay. We can see the actual coconut. Maybe we should get rid of some of this. It looks kinda of trashy. have a exposure of coconut here. We have made a breach. See if we can get some of this water. Oh my god. Fresh coconut juice. A lot of work to get it, but worth it. Worth it in the end. It's delicious. There's actually so much coconut water in here. I think we've got most of it though. Let's see if there is some flesh inside that we can eat. Oh wow, there is too. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. Fresh coconut. Oh man, it's delicious too. Fresh coconut on the beaches of Colombia. some leche entera, which is, I think it's whole milk. Um, it sits on the shelf unrefrigerated here in Colombia. They don't refrigerate this milk. It's just, there's just tons of it and it's just, just there. They don't, uh, they don't put it in the fridge, which I find weird because in Canada they do. It's all in the fridge. So uh, let's give it a try here. Shake it up. Colombian whole milk, non-refrigerated. Let's try it out. Oh, 
Wow, that's really good. Holy shit. Mm. Really, really creamy. Like, really creamy. Like, almost buttery. Um, delicious. Wow. I should have been drinking this the whole time. I've been here. Nothing like drinking whole milk on the beaches of Colombia. Wow, it's really good. Let's uh, let's hope I don't get diarrhea after this. The uh, the bugs have for the most part left my legs alone. As you can see, I'm just riddled with bites. Uh, it's pretty bad, but. Um, They've been leaving me alone here on the beach, which is nice, so I'm liking the beach. Another one here, washed up on shore. This looks old, but uh, I kind of want to open it up anyway, so let's open it up and see what we can find inside. So we got four coconuts like that, the brown ones. We're gonna try to open them up and see what's inside. Maybe it's edible, maybe it's not, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna try. So uh, let's do it. actually managed to open it up. See? Solid, uh, solid juice inside. You can actually eat that. Nice sweet coconut inside. It's delicious. The crabs? You may not be able to see them, they're pretty camouflaged. One right there. No, he won't. Oh, there he goes, see? Another one there. I wonder if they uh, if they know I have the coconut open.
that. He took the coconut I just threw. Look at him. Look at that. Oh, he's trying to drag it in the hole. He can't, he can't drag it in the hole. He's trying to pull it in. That's so funny, man. Crazy. These little crabs, as soon as they see you, they run away. But when you have a coconut in your hand, All right, the sun's coming out a little bit here. Look at all that coconut I just got from that. Fresh coconut. And you can eat this. This isn't the, the rind, this is the part you can actually eat. So, beautiful. That was just from one of those brown coconuts I found like in the water. Amazing. All right, I've been invited over to the other side of the beach by um, some Chileans. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, say hi. I got some coconut here, maybe they'll have some. Rinse it off a bit. There you go. When the sun comes out, this beach just gets even more beautiful. Like, look at this. It, it really hits the water. It makes it that beautiful blue that you see in all the movies and Postcard. Name it. Buenas. Hello. Hello. I got some big chunks here. Oh. Yeah. Can I? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. They're all. That's all. You can eat all that. Thank you. No problem. You want uh, cigarettes? What is that? Oh no, I'm good. Thanks. Me no gusta cigarettes. <laughs> What's your name? Pablo. 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 No, it's Paul. It's Paul, but. Well, my brother. Yeah. My brother's name. Oh really? Wow. Good name. Yeah. He must be a good guy. He is. Yeah, that's good. His name is Paul Scott. Oh yeah. Paul Scott. Yeah. Well, I'm in Colombia, so you know, I gotta gotta switch to Pablo. Pablo. Poppy Pablo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's getting hot, eh? The yeah, sun. Yeah. It's okay though. Might go back in the water. Did you came alone? Huh? Did you came alone? Yeah. Yeah, I rented a scooter. Came in. So I'm vlogging for YouTube. So uh, say hello. Uh, hello. What's all your names? What's your name? Victoria. Victoria? Max. Max? Daniela. Okay, I'm gonna forget all that in 20, like two minutes, but just kidding. This place looks like five times better when the sun is out, eh? Like, yeah. it's crazy. The water just gets so blue, it's like. It looks cold, and it's, and it's not. Good. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay. You're really gonna love Chile. Yeah, I am swear. I? Yeah. You guys have to invite me over, okay? Yes. Alright. You can stay in our place. Okay, sure, yeah. Alright, buddy. Hi, man. It was really nice. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you guys. It was nice spending the day with you guys on the beach here. Good trip. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. You too. Enjoy the rest of your days here, you know? Um, Thanks. And uh, now you guys can get nude, because I'll be gone. Yeah. Go. Woo! Just kidding. Okay, guys, see you later. I'm off. All right, off we go. All right, so I gotta be careful because uh, earlier this morning when I was here, there was nobody here, and now there's a few people here and they're nude, so I have to uh, be careful with filming because I don't want to be like, a creep. But uh, yeah, here's the coconut uh, opening station here. This is high technology right here, guys, so if you want to uh, invest in one of those, it's called wood. And um, yeah, you uh, can open coconuts with it. It's pretty cool. Woo. So we have a two hour hike back to the main entrance of the park. Um, 
Should be fine. I'm, uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna take my time. I am really sunburnt right now, as you guys can probably tell. Holy sh**, am I ever sunburnt? But uh, that's this life, you know? That's just ginger life. So yeah, we're coming up on the uh, nudies over here, so we have to, uh, I'm probably gonna just turn the camera off when I get past them, then I'll turn it back on. Um, don't wanna be weird, you know? Even if I'm not filming them, they might think I am or something, who knows, right? I don't wanna, I just don't wanna deal with it. All right, guys, so uh, camera is gonna go off. I'll see you guys on the other side of the beach. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to the other side of the beach and then we'll continue on the hike and uh, get back to where we gotta go. All right, we're off the beach. I can turn the camera back on now. Um, I wish I could have show you guys the uh, the beach on the way out. It was it wasn't sunny this morning when I came in. Um, so when the sun comes out, that beach gets beautiful. Like it gets the water gets so much bluer and just looks a lot nicer. Um, and there also wasn't anyone nude there in the morning. So now I know the name of the beach. It's Playa Nudista or something like that. Um, and the name is true. Um, it's a pretty secluded beach and I guess that's why there was a lot of nudists there, like on the way out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I couldn't film, unfortunately. I mean, I didn't really want to, that would be kind of weird. So uh, yeah, but it was a good time. I met some Chileans there. You guys know who you are. Um, good people. And uh, yeah, if I ever go to Chile, I'll uh, definitely hit them up. Maybe they could show me around, see some see some sights, because I've heard Ch Chile's really nice mountains and nice mix of biome there, you know? I don't know what kind of lizard that was, but that was cool. I thought it was a snake at first because I saw the tail. Okay. All right. Past most of the beaches. I think there's one more beach coming up we have to go through. So we're staying hobbit mode until then. No point of putting the shoes on if they're just going to get full of sand, right? So here is the area where I was going to stay last night. I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't because it's kind of just feels like factory, you know? Just a number here. Tent number 14. You know, just, I don't know. Everyone's just so bunched up together. And this is the lineup to check out, I'm thinking. <laughs> Holy sh**. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't uh, do that today. So we didn't get a coconut off of the tree. We cheated. But uh, we still got a coconut either way. We got a few, actually. I gotta stop horsing around and watch where I'm going. Damn you, coconuts. Damn you. I'll get you next time. Whew. Gonna miss that view. All right, guys, we are on our bike. We are headed back to the moto rent to drop off the, uh, the uh, moto here. Um, we don't want to get late fees, so if we drive according to the speed limit, the rules of the road, etc., we will be there a half an hour early, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna end the video here because there's not much else to show. I kind of have to focus on the road to, uh, to get back. Also, I'm pretty tired and pretty sunburned, so um, yeah, there's that too. Um, Tirana was a pretty special place and I would highly recommend it to any of you guys if you ever wanted to go and check it out. So, peace out.